Yes, ma'am. Okay. Activity eleven point one five. An object of mass twenty kg is dropped from a height of four meter. Okay. So there is an object which is at height four meter from the ground. Okay. It is dropped from this height. Fill in the blanks in the following table by computing the potential energy and kinetic energy in each case. Okay. Now. G we are here. We are going to take ten so that our calculations will be simplified. First case we are going to take when height is four meter. When h equals to four meter, so potential energy is equal to m into g into h. That is equal to twenty into ten into four. So four two is eight. Eight hundred joules. Kinetic energy is half m v square. Okay. so at highest point the velocity of object is zero so kinetic energy will be zero now so here we are going to fill this values 800 joules and this is to zero joules and 800 plus zero is 800 joules now second case when h is 3 meters so potential energy can be directly found out found can be directly find we can find by mgh so it is 20 g is 10 and h is 3 that is equal to 600 joules so potential energy is 600 joules for kinetic energy we want we have formula half mv square but we don't know what is v so we'll first of all put this formula v square minus u square equals to 2 gs okay body is dropped from 4 meter to 3 meter okay so distance travel distance is 1 meter and initial velocity is 0 so v square equals to 2 into 10 into s is 1 so it is 20 v square is 20 so kinetic energy is half mv square so it will be 1 by 2 Mass is twenty and v square is also twenty, so it is ten. This is two hundred joules. So here, okay, ma'am. Okay, kinetic energy is two hundred joules. So six hundred plus two hundred will be again eight hundred joules. Now, when object is at two meters, at two meters. Uh, potential energy is equal to m into g into h. M is twenty, g is ten, and h is two. So it is four hundred joules. And kinetic energy is half m v square, but we need v square for this. So v square minus u square equals to two g s. U is zero, and v square equals to two into ten. And distance from four meter to two meter is two meter, so it is two. Okay, so v square is forty joules, forty, and uh, kinetic energy will be half. And distance two meter means one minute into forty, so this will be this is four. This will be again four hundred joules. Yes, Anusha, what is your doubt? मैच डिस्टेंस टू कैसे आया हम्म वन मिनट ये देखो ऐसे होगा ये एटन अगर कोई ऑब्जेक्ट ऊपर से आ रहा है ठीक है फोर मीटर की हाइट है थ्री मीटर टू मीटर वन मीटर एंड ग्राउंड ठीक है फोर मीटर से थ्री मीटर पे आया तो डिस्टेंस कितना हुआ वन मीटर फोर मीटर से टू मीटर पे आया तो डिस्टेंस कितना हुआ टू मीटर ठीक है नाउ नेक्स्ट केस व्हेन मैम तो फिर मास जैसे नीचे जाता रह रहा है वो बढ़ता जा रहा है डिस्टेंस व्हाट मैं जैसे जैसे नीचे जाता रह रहा है वो डिस्टेंस बढ़ता जा रहा है नहीं जैसे जैसे वो नीचे जा रहा है हाइट फ्रॉम ग्राउंड कम हो रहा है लेकिन ऊपर से नीचे आने वाला डिस्टेंस बढ़ रहा है यस मैम ठीक है तो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी के लिए हाइट फ्रॉम ग्राउंड लेंगे हाइट अबव ग्राउंड और काइनेटिक एनर्जी के लिए ऊपर से नीचे आने वाला डिस्टेंस लेंगे ओके मैम ओके नाउ अगेन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू 
MGH. M is twenty. Excuse me, ma'am. Is ten. When object is at one meter, potential energy is m into g into h. M is twenty. G is ten. And oh, h is one. Two hundred. What you are saying? मैं पहली वाली स्लाइड दिखा दूंगी क्या ओके सेकंड वाली दिस वन यस मैम सो वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू टू जी एस फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मूला वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड वी स्क्वायर ओके यू इज जीरो एंड सो टू इंटू टेन एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फोर टू वन विल बी थ्री सो इट इज सिक्सटी काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू हाफ Mass is twenty and v square is sixty, so it is ten. That is equal to six hundred joules. So here it is. Now it is two hundred joules potential energy, six hundred joules kinetic energy, and total eight hundred. Okay. Now when h equals to zero meter or on the ground, just above the ground. Okay, potential energy will be zero because h is zero, so potential energy is zero, and v square minus u square equals to two g s. So v square equals to two g is ten, and s is from four meter to zero meter. That is four meters. So it is eighty. Kinetic energy is half m v square. So it will be half into twenty. Into eighty, so it is eight hundred joules. Okay, so now just above the ground, potential energy is zero. Kinetic energy is eight hundred joules, and sum is eight hundred. Okay, so what yes, is the okay? Hmm. So what is the conclusion of this activity? That when an object for falls from certain height, potential energy keeps on decreasing. and kinetic energy goes on increasing and sum of potential energy and kinetic energy at any point is constant it's always same 